Brantley Gilbert's tattoos make a statement. Keith Urban's tattoos share a sentiment. Tyler Hubbard got this tattoo in memory of his father, and Tyler Farr got this one because if you can't find an actual bear to rip open your forearm, then a tattoo is just gonna have to work. But why did Dolly Parton get her tattoos? And better yet, where is she hiding them? Subscribe and thumbs up this video if you're excited to learn about Dolly's hot ink. I'm Anya Hammer, and this episode of The Secret History of Country Music is going to put three Dolly Parton tattoo rumors to rest. Number one, does Dolly have tattoos? Number two, does Dolly Parton have chest tattoos? And number three, does Dolly have what the cool kids call sleeves? So yeah, she totally has them, and no, you can't see them unless you squint. And in about 30 seconds, I'll show you what I mean. Jay Leno got up close and personal. Yeah, I have a little tattoo. Now, Don't start little... pulling my clothes down. No, 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 That's no. I'm just curious to see. <laughs> That's an oh, angel. What's my name? How nice. Yes, it's oh, Jay Leno. Oh, Jay Leno. I would love to have my it's name. It's a little Deputy. angel, as a matter of fact. A little angel. Have a little butterfly and a little angel. So if the angel my is there. I'm gonna save Jay that creepy punchline because the butterfly actually appears to be on her left bicep. Take a look at this close up from a picture taken during an anniversary party for the movie 9 to 5. Jezebel first pointed this out after some friends of Dolly's started to talk out of turn. So here's the story that launched all of these rumors about her chest and arms being covered in ink. Actress and comedian Roseanne Barr was at a restaurant in Los Angeles called Morton's with British actress and comedian Jennifer Saunders. Dolly was there, the group started talking, it was late, and then Dolly was like, hey, you wanna see my tattoo? Tattoos? Roseanne describes it to Craig Ferguson as tattoos all over Dolly's body, like she's some outlaw Tinkerbell. But in her book Bonkers, My Life in Laughs, Saunders says the singer opened her jacket and showed the two comics her, uh, well, let's just say that she wasn't wearing much underneath that jacket. Now, while doing press for the book, Saunders admits she was jet lagged and had drank quite a bit of wine, but clearly she remembers. It was 9.30 in the evening, which meant the restaurant was empty, because that's what happens in LA. You know, everyone goes home, no one stays out drinking late. <laughs> and, um, and so the restaurant was empty. And, uh, and she just opened the jacket and, and showed us the most beautiful, can I say, the most beautiful tattoos. In another interview, she describes Parton's tattoos as some of the most beautiful angels and beautiful butterflies and baskets of flowers and pastel colors. Or something like this. Did you see it? Go ahead and take another look. Dolly said it was just weird light on the red carpet, but the evidence points to the contrary. Finally, talking to Larry King, she fessed up. I have some tattoos that I've, I've started doing just to cover up some scarring. Wait, what was that? I have some tattoos that I've, I've started doing just to cover up some scarring. More specifically, Dolly said she's susceptible to keloid scarring, which is a raised bum scar that comes after someone has been injured, had surgery, bad acne, or ironically, gotten a tattoo. So she started to color them in. Splattered them here and there, but I'm not making a, I wouldn't be a biker chick or anything. Investigating rumors, learning the real stories of country's biggest hits, and exploring what makes Willie Nelson such a damn fine poker player are all part of our new series, The Secret History of Country Music. Subscribe for more and then learn about Willie for yourself. Now that is a crazy story.